Hello guys, welcome to another video. Anyway, today what we're going to be doing is we're playing Victoria 2 and we are going to be forming the Soviet Union. So just make sure we click on Russia, click play, and we'll load up the game. Alrighty. All that bullcrap, we don't want to read it. We're going to open up political map mode because I like the political map mode. We are going to put all of our men on the borders. Put this up, political map mode? Yeah, it is. First thing we're going to do is switch it from liberal because liberalism is fucking shitty as fuck. And we're going to switch that to state capitalism just to get the proletariat or the working class pissed off because that's how you do it. And we will quickly unpause it for a day and pause and accept Romania, we will bump all the taxes up because that's how you piss off the working class. And we will bump all that stuff down. We'll bump administration up, military spending up, tariffs up, education up, and eh, hell of it, we'll do that. Okay. So we will start. Uh, we will start doing the breech-loaded rifles because, yeah, actually, I think I'm going to start. Actually, we are already all done that. So yeah, I think I'm going to start with breech-loaded rifles. Quickly play it. See how the economy is going to boom. Okay, perfect. We are going to start forming up a line of defense on Prussia's border because we do not trust the damn Prussians. And yep, we're gonna put one there, put one here, put one here. Then we will push these guys down here, push these guys there. And these guys are busy, these guys are busy. We will move these guys down here also. Uh, any other people? We'll move these guys down here. Yep. And that looks pretty well defended. We'll move these guys here. And perfect. We'll start declaring justifying war with them. We will add them to establish protor pr protectorate. I think yeah. that's what we will do and unpause it. This will go so fast because it's a shitty little country. Kiva is not a very good country. We will bring them freedom. there. Watch as our beautiful military lines up. We will actually start building our military. And yeah, perfect. Also, one thing that we want to do, find Moscow. Moscow, Frig, where is Moscow? Should be right there. And Moscow has lots of wood, so we will build a wood lumber mill, which is, we do not have enough money for it. Ah, yeah, we do. There's already a lumber mill there, so we will build a paper mill. We will subsidize all of the factories, and we will see which ones, this one's doing good, this one's, so upgrade that one. Military access from Austria, yeah, sure, for now, but we're going to go to war with you eventually, so, yeah. Okay, whatever, 5.3 in for me, that'll disappear so fast. Yep. Anyway. They're coming to fight. Good. Casa Spelli is going to increase rapidly. 30 days? Good. And just as our men get on the borders as well. Just in the nick of time, friends. 
So basically what I do when I play as Russia is I invade all these little countries and then I start doing all this. I keep Russia in North America for as long as I can. Oh, we can put a... We can actually do that. Good. That is now part of our country, whatever, whatever that was. Uh, okay, we are allowed annexation of the country. Declare war. Declare war. We are now annexing them. Load all the military in. We really don't need this many. It's just going to speed up the process. Because it is fairly, it is a fairly annoying process. It's not really hard, it's just annoying. Prussia, sure, Prussia, why not? And that's our military being created, perfect. Our men are taking a little bit of malnutrition, but that's okay. Uh, take out them, we are, what's our budget looking at? Yep, yeah, good. It's looking at really good. And this is a quick month-long war, maybe. And we should be getting a request for peace soon. Nitroglycerin. Getting lots of military. Woohoo, look at that. We're actually going to split this one up in half, and yeah, just play. And they're requesting peace for Annex. Perfect. Next, I think we might go for Bukhara, but uh, we're going to sit it out for a little while. Okay, we've got a nice amount of military building up, so we might as well build our borders stronger around Austria, because Austria does not particularly like us. Ooh, Prussia is actually invading Austria. We could actually take something of theirs if we wanted to. Because they're, while well, their military is down, we could pretty... Well, they're getting attacked on two fronts, so if we join in, why not? We'll take... We'll take East Galicia or some shit. Uh, we will actually justify war. Okay, we've got to we, we got to remove military access and unpause it for a little bit. February twenty seventh, we will pause it and good. We have a okay. We've got to decrease relations with them, and now we will be able to do this perfectly. They do tend to have a lot of uh, troops, but we will have no problem doing this. How fast is the... yeah. We will... ooh, look at this. Oh, sure. Call ally uh, of... of... against what? Eastern... Bergen. That's against Prussia, right? Let's look at that. There is a war against... Yeah, not a chance. Well... Actually, yeah. We're gonna join that. And we will... We will cancel our war justification against them. Wait, we, we're not justifying a war because we're already at war with them anymore. So, perfect. We're, we will quickly do this, bulldoze them. I think this is called a Blitzkrieg by the Germans. We, this is called a Blitzkrieg. Quickly move in before they get a chance to do anything. And move these guys in, move these guys in. We will actually, we will move these in to there. We'll actually move these guys here, we're moving those guys there, so they really don't have a fighting chance. But we will we will move these guys closer just in case. 
and we will mobilize only if we have to. And I'm going to add a war goal once I take over some. Uh, war's not going well enough yet. Okay, perfect. Move these guys forward into Novesaz. Call ally from Romania against the Ottoman Empire. Not a chance. Not a chance, buddy. We'll just move these guys in to Talo while we move these guys. <clears throat> we'll move these guys in. Those guys are happily sitting out on the front. These guys are trying to move through Romania. We may have to give them some backup. We'll move you guys in there. Yep. And we're going to keep you guys there, move you guys in together into there. Already war, and it's the first episode. This is amazing. It's going well, too. Two good wars. I won that war. Move back so we can fight them again. We want to get rid of their forces as good as we can. We want to destroy them. Where are these guys going? We, they are going to Klai's. We will follow them. And we will actually take 18,000 of them and drop them there because we need the backup. Who gives a hoot? We need militancy, so we will do that. Move more men in. Move these guys down. Okay, we're winning there. That's good. We will actually add a war goal now for East Galatia. And West Galatia if we can. Uh, we probably won't because our infamy is pretty high. <clears throat> Where are these guys going? These guys are going to the IC, so we will follow them in. I did lose, but we will quickly fight that back. We will gain prestige. Move them back in. And we should win this, no problem. Budgets. Yeah, that's all the way up. That's good. We do need to figure out why our military must, their military must be better than ours or something. Because, yeah, we really shouldn't be losing this bad. We will move more men in. I do not want to mobilize because it will screw over our economy. So that's the last thing I want to do. But what we will do is we will move all these guys in. Move all of them in. Those guys are going to ba help back up. Looks like I need to help my comrades right there. That is no problem. We will go back in there, in there. It looks like we may have won that war, actually. Yeah, we'll move these guys in. Pause that. Move them in right there. Looking good. Uh, yeah, we're not looking good on this border. We're actually going to hold, we're going to pull back. We're going to pull back. Add those troops there. We may actually have to mobilize, why not? We will get a shit ton of troops within a day's notice, pretty much. We won that one. Where are they heading, though? They're going to Krakow. We want to get rid of as many troops as we possibly can with a huge stack like that is pretty good. We won that war again. Where are they heading now? Blisko. Let's follow them. Mm. 
we will send those point three, three hundred men to there. They are now going there, so we are now getting in a shit ton of people. We are going to we're going to meet all of them up there. And they are done. This may be their last war for that troop. No, they're still standing strong right there. And that's okay. We are we will lose a little bit of land before we gain some. It's just part of war. We will take out of theirs and we'll group these together and move them in. Don't worry, they are almost done. Move them in over there. And we will move these guys and these guys to help them out. We won that war, we're moving them in there. And we will move these guys there. This will be a pretty slow war. It will take a while to actually gain some land, but yeah, we will, we will beat them in the long run. That's all that matters though, is the long run. We're gonna pile, we're gonna pile these guys on and we'll leave these guys there until we need them. Okay. We need some backup there immediately. Okay, we will get those troops in as fast as possible, because we really need it. Move them troops in there, move these troops in there. We may, we may want to do a one stack method. Uh, we are going to skip these guys straight there, because they really need the help. There. They tried avoiding, but we will counterattack. And we're just going to co peek here. Okay, we're doing good. We're going to add more troops there. Uh, we will add more troops, add more troops. And yeah, we're going to really need to rebuild our troops though after this. So basically, we're going to want to look at the population density. This place is really good, so we're going to encourage soldiers. This place is really good, so we're going to encourage soldiers. This place is pretty high, so we're going to encourage soldiers. We have two more, so encourage soldiers here and here. There we go. Or we're encouraging soldiers out of our wazoo, so, and we're winning a lot of wars now. Push them down. We're going to go there. We're going to follow these guys since they're wounded. They're licking their wounds. So we have, should follow them in. To finish them off. Actually, we're going to retreat back there to get them. Well, it's not really a retreat. It's a bombardment. Add them there. We're going to add these guys there and these guys there to protect that little bit of land that we have. 